very popular in this school, so we heard a lot about them. Um, so then I, I will present URS as topological analogs to IRS, although they are interested uh, for themselves also. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should not do the setting because everybody anyways talk about IRS. You already know the setting, but I, 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 will, I will just shortly recall the setting and the definition. So, um, so G is a locally compact group. You can also have in mind just discrete groups. Everything makes sense also in this setting of uh, discrete groups. Um, so sub G is the space of all uh, closed subgroups of G. And I consider it with the natural to topology that is on it, which is called the Chabuti topology. Okay, above this space of subgroups, I have the space of probability uh, measures on the space of subgroups. Uh, so elements here are just subgroups and elements here is are, called, uh, are called random subgroups. So that's measures on subgroups. Okay, and both of, okay, actually also, so, so both of uh, sub G and P sub G are compact G spaces. So G acts on itself by conjugation. Uh, the action ex extends to an action on sub G by conjugation, which extends to an action on uh, P sub G uh, by conjugation. So what I have in mind is something like, I have G here, above this I have sub G, and above this I have probability measures on sub G. And even if G is not compact, so some, some locally compact group, assuming that G is locally compact, then sub G is also compact, and P sub G is compact and convex. You see this way they differ in shape. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so, so that's, that's my setting. And okay, and we love IRS. So IRS are elements here. So like these are probability measures on, on sub G, which are invariant under the G action. So like each, so G acts here, G acts here, fixed points here, these, these are IRS. Um, so the term IRS was, so IRS were like somehow in the picture for a long, long time ago. And even like the theorem by Stack Zimmer that Sachika stated, which is from the nineties was already using IRS, but like they didn't call this IRS. They thought of it as stabilizers of probability measure preserving actions. But like the, the term invariant random subgroup and like this uh, approach of studying them as measures on subgroups um, uh, is uh, thanks to Albert Glasner and Virag, uh, 2012. Okay, and then two years later, uh, Glasner, Weiss came, Glasner and Weiss came with a, uh, uh, came up with a topological analog to um, IRS. Okay, and, and, and this Glasner should not be confused with this Glasner. Uh, uh, so this is Glasner, the son, which is now is already Glasner, the father, and his son. So that's uh, Yair Glasner. So, and that's Eli Glasner. So this is now Eli Glasner, the grandfather, and this is Yair Glasner, the father, and uh, their son is, is now a PhD student in, in uh, Weizmann. Um, okay. Anyways, I, okay. So I put these two dots so that we're all like excited to see what's what's coming next. Um, so, so the topological analog for uh, so what do we, why do we need a topological analog? So like IRS, you know, they live here and uh, uh, but here on sub G, it may choose like many things and saying that we have an, an IRS is that like we choose at random an instance like uh, one sample here then topologic, the topological analog would be that like in, uh, instead of choosing one, we kind of like take here a collection of many subgroups together. So that's like the, um, uh, I, I will uh, soon give like some more uh, observations why these are actually analogs. So, so what is a, a URS, a uniformly recurrent subgroup? It's a minimal closed gene variant subset of sub G. So it's a subset here inside sub G, which is G invariant. Okay, close like in the topology on sub G and minimally in the sense that it does not contain a smaller closed G invariant subset. Or uh, equivalently, if I take any subgroup here, so that's a point in the set and I consider its orbit by conjugation, this orbit is dense. So like if at any point, so here is how I can construct naively a URS. I start by a subgroup. I take all of its conjugates. I take the closure of this. 
Now, this may or may not be a URS, depending if what I got is now minimal. If it happened to be minimal, then then I I, I have a, a URS. You mean if I if I did this naive naive approach, why if I may have not ended up with a URS? So so sometimes I, I'll give you like um, let me say it in concretely and then concretely. So uh, I may have taken a point, draw its orbit, closed it up. And then perhaps this closure, for example, con uh, contains the trivial group. So this is what I don't remember if, if so Tzachik was talking about confined groups. So like some groups are, uh, have that their ID is in the, the, the trivial subgroup is in the closure of their conjugacy class. So in this case, if you take their conjugacy class, so that's their orbit and the closure in the closure, you will have this trivial subgroup. Now a trivial subgroup is obviously a smaller closed gene variant subset. So this may happen, for example, I mean, if you take just the free group and you take inside the free group, so here is a point in sub F2 is the cyclic subgroup generated by A. If you consider all of its conjugates, uh, you can easily, I mean, in the closure of this subgroup, you can easily find, so uh, the trivial subgroup belongs to the closure of all conjugates of this set. So that's an exercise. Um, yeah, so this is how I can end up with something. That's one of the ways how I can end up with something not minimal. I go. Okay. So examples are, okay, uh, are normal subgroups. So these are like one point kind of uh, URSs. Then I, I can have finite index subgroups or, or uh, finite orbits here. So if I have finite orbit, then that's obviously a URS. One, uh, a, a, a generalization of that maybe is a co-compact lattice. So this is to say that maybe my orbit is not finite, but the orbit itself is already. So if I have a finite orbit, so three points, that's obviously closed gene variant and minimal. But if I have any closed orbit, so if I take a uniform lattice and I consider all of its conjugates, so all of its orbit, this is already closed if the lattice was uniform and gene variant because I took all uh, all conjugates and minimal because I took all conjugates and and so that's so in uniform lattice also so the conjugacy class all, all conjugates of a uniform lattice is also a good example of the URS um problem okay not problem but like all these examples are very simple in the sense that they are just single orbits so like these are all uh, just single orbits uh, if you want to uh, see something a bit more sophisticated. So what you can do is, for example, every minimal subshift, so like every closed shift invariant sub minimal subset of the action of Z by shift on, on two to the Z uh, embeds or uh, gives us a URS in the Lamplighter group um, using this map. So if you have uh, some, uh, you have a, a closed, uh, shift invariant minimal subset into to the G, you can consider the corresponding subgroups of the lamplighter, which are the subgroups uh, where the walker is standing on the origin and the um, and, and the, your configurations are only supported on the coordinates which were chosen here. So, um, okay, if you've been in yesterday, in uh, last week's uh, exercise session so you may remember that this is also a, all, all of them all of them and, and also number four are also all examples of IRS. so um okay so all, all of the above are examples of IRS. we just view them differently in the sense that you know if i have if i have a, a uniform lattice if I have a uniform lattice point gamma, so one way is to say, I'm gonna take all of the conjugates of gamma, that's my URS. And the other way is to say, I'm gonna choose at random, a conjugate of gamma, that's an IRS. And, and the same can be done. And, and also like this map here, I can also use it to uh, translate every, to send every invariant random, uh, sub uh, invariant random set here to an IRS on, on the lamp lighter. Um, Okay, so so maybe so maybe one justification for like why these two notions are analogous is that like the main examples somehow you know <laughs> live in both. Okay, questions. 
here is a question uh, I have, and it is great because it like has nothing to do with the, the talk today, but just because uh, it's it's a question that bothers me, then I put it here so that maybe if if you have anything to say about that, then 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 tell me. Um, so for me, I mean, I I think of my optimal. I mean, that's what I would love. Uh, uh, the reality to be is that if I'm given a, a, an IRS, I would like the support of this IRS. So this is a subsidy to be a URS. So the support is G invariant and it is closed. So by, the, by definition, the support is like the the close the smallest close the, the smallest closed subgroup of sub G with the smallest closed subgroup of G, which uh, gets uh, measure one full, full measure. So. Huh? So I think of the support actually. Oh, okay, yeah, you, you, uh, yeah, but right. I, I also think right a subset of sub G because why, why did I say subset of G because a subgroup of G because I already uh, in my mind I imagine like when I see a subset here I do the union over all of these subgroups and then I get uh, some something here. This is why I um, said that. But you, but you're right. Yeah, it's a subset of sub G. That's the support. So. I would love the support of any IRS to be a, a URS. That's very not true. Um, but I mean, I think it's very interesting to understand when is this happening? And, ah, that's very not true because what I get, the support may not be minimal, but but I think it's interesting to, to see way, when is it uh, minimal. And on the other hand, like when, on the other, to the other direction, when I get a URS, so I would like to somehow, okay, like it is done with SRS, like to put something in this URS and to start like, I don't know, uh, making it more and more invariant. I, I would like it to support an IRS, and it's uh, usually not true. But I want to understand when it, when it is true. Um, okay, so that's a question that that I care about, but has nothing to do with with this. Um, okay. Ah, and so just so this was like this uh, topological analog of of uh, IRS, and now I just want to stress one more point about like how IRS and URS are related to group actions and are related to each other. Um, so here is an example of an IRS. So suppose I have an action of G on some, um, uh, uh, on some measure space X, then I can always, so here I have some measure space X on which G act. So I can always map this measure space. If I have a G action here, I can always, uh, map this measure space to sub G by sending each point to its stabilizer. So if I have X here, then I map it to, so X is mapped, it's sent to the stabilizer of X, which is uh, by a theorem by Varadaradan, a closed subgroup. So I mean, I'm fine. I, I, I landed up in, landed in, in this uh, space. Um, and, and then I, I have a natural measure on this X, and then if I push forward this measure, I get an IRS, I, I get I get a measure on sub G, and if the action was probability measure preserving, then this is an IRS. So that's an example of an IRS, and that's a theorem. Uh, so for countable groups, it's by Aber, Glasner, Dirac, and for locally compact groups, it's by the seven samurai, um, that all IRS are such. Um, Okay, and now I'm gonna like the other half of the slide will be precisely the same, but for URS. So here is an example of a URS. So suppose you have an action of G on a, now it's not a measure space, it's a compact space. So I can do precisely the same. I can map any point to its stabilizer. And this also gives me a URS. Now I don't want, I, I don't have a measure on X. I just have the entire X, which is compact. So I'm gonna, map this entire X into sub G. So like I, I have a, a huge here, I have a huge collection, I, like the stabilizer of this point and the stabilizer of this point and so on. I have like a bunch of stabilizers. I take the closure of, of all this, of the image of this map. And it, okay, there is reasons. I mean, this map is not continuous. Some things to be said here, but I mean, I basically take um, the, the, the image of this X here, and inside the closure of this image, I have a unique URS, which is like just the push forward of, the, of this minimal action that um, G had here. And that's an example of the URS and, and the theorem. Uh, so that this was like asked by Glasner Weiss, they, they noticed that and they were asking like, is this all example? Are these all examples? And Matabon and Sangov uh, proved that yes, it is uh, all URS 
rise, uh, rise this way. So, uh, so URS and IRS are like very good ways to study stabilizers of actions, stabilizer of probability measure preserving actions or of uh, um, actions of on compact spaces. This is a country space. This map is still not continuous. I, I, I actually don't know to say like about um, the, like country space. I, I know that in general it is not, it's just upper semi, semi continuous. I, I don't know to tell. Maybe, I mean, in, in some cases it is continuous. So, like in the construction of, of Metabon and Senkov, they actually show that given an I, a URS, you can always construct a space such that this map will actually be continuous everywhere. But I mean, it's uh, okay. I don't know for a country spe specifically. So it contains a unique URS, but it, is there, why, why is it itself being right? Is there a, um, is there a way to see that the minimality is being pushed or? Um, uh, yeah, because, yeah. Um, so the problem, like originally, uh, so here is like the ideal situation, which, which usually is not the case, is like if this map was actually continuous, so each X would just map to stub X, then this set of stabilizers would be a continuous image of this space X. And since X was compact, this would just be compact. And then we are done. However, because this map is not always continuous, it's just upper semi-continuous, then this, okay, it doesn't look that nice. And then we need to close it. If we close it, maybe it's no longer minimal. So, okay, there are, I mean, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, without really saying that it is, it's hard to see why it's not minimal, but it, I mean, it's somehow the, the, the real problem is this, the, this map being only upper semi-continuous and not continuous, yeah. And, 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 and minimality of the action somehow wants to tell you that this choice is unique because like, okay. Um, so now I'm gonna talk about like specific type, specific choices of, uh, so like Tariq, for example, was talking about like discrete uh, IRS and, and Ilya was talking about like amenable uh, IRS or, or like, so, so I'm gonna talk about like amenable URS and amenable IRS and then reduce to compact IRS and URS. So we just, so this terminology, we say that a, a URS have a property T. So a URS is a collection of subgroups. So if all of these subgroups have this property, then the URS has this property. And for IRS, the same just with almost. So IRS is amenable if it almost surely chooses an amenable subgroup. Um, okay, so here is a theorem of Kennedy. So um, which just, I, I put it here to just like to show us how, uh, I mean, how important somehow URS are. So it's just, uh, so CSER simple is uh, something uh, operator algebra uh, study. And it's somehow, uh, and, and it's very algebraically, but this can be nicely uh, uh, understood by uh, the fact that the group admits no amenable URS. Um, so um, there was a long standing open question whether sister simplicity um, is equivalent to having no amenable normal subgroup. So like having a trivial amenable uh, radical. Um, so in my interpretation, now in the view of, so this theorem, this question was uh, open. I mean, it was posted long before uh, this theorem of Kennedy, but now I, I, I'm, I'm reading this theorem using uh, Kennedy's characterization uh, uh, like in the following way. So for me, like the theorem, uh, the, this, not theorem, this question asks whether uh, you have uh, no amenable URS, even only if you have no amenable normal subgroup. So this is last, like asking, we said that like, URS and IRS both generalize normal subgroups. So how good is this generalization in a sense? So like, do they really behave like normal subgroups? Can I, can I have uh, amenable URS, even though I don't have any amenable normal subgroups? Um, so this was open for a long, long time uh, until in 2015, uh, Adrian Lobodet, uh, gave a construction of a discrete. Oh, so this question is only about like discrete groups. Um, a, a, give a construction of discrete groups. So many of a family of discrete groups that have uh, no amenable normal subgroups. So like trivial amenable radical, but yet they, they do admit amenable URS. And this was like somehow, okay. So here, obviously you have a very, uh, one direction is very easy because the normal subgroup is in particular a URS. So obviously if, if you don't have URS, you don't have, no amenable normal subgroups, but what about the other direction? So this, this shows that the other direction is false. And actually I think he was using, it was like slightly before this characterization of uh, Kennedy. So yeah, so I think it's using like a theorem of, of Ozawa and Kalantar and uh, 
uh, you should, I, I don't remember who else, and um, to, to show, to, to do this, uh, to do this construction. Um, okay, so, and, and, and I want to view this construction, uh, I mean, and somehow compare it with, with the following theorem that was uh, posted one year before uh, by Bader, Duchesne, and Lecroux, saying that if we consider IRS, this is not the case. So amenable IRS are very similar to amenable normal subgroup in the following sense, though let G let be like nice. Um, then any amenable IRS is contained in an amenable normal subgroup. So like it is contained in the amenable radical, like the, the maximal um, normal amenable subgroup. Um, okay, so like for, for this property of amenability, URS doesn't behave, don't behave that well while IRS do behave. Okay, so just let me summarize this in this nice table. So are we contained in an amenable normal subgroup? So amenable normal subgroups, obviously that's uh, an amenable IRS are contained in the in amenable normal subgroups by Barrel Duchenne Lecou and amenable URS are not by, by this construction of, of Labodec. So this table was somehow like uh, the motivation for, for like the, the project I will just dis describe that. Um, um, and was like to find the right, you know, the right table in which like amenable URS do behave nice enough. And, um, and okay. And, uh, and what, think, what we think is like the right analog is like compact uh, normal subgroups. So I'm gonna like, so, so the project I'm, uh, I wanted to show with you is like this project about compact URS and, and compact IRS. So, um, so for compact URS, and that's, uh, that's uh, uh, um, joint work with Pierre Emmanuel Capat and, and Walter Lederle. We, we were able to show that for any locally compact group, if you have a compact IRS, a, a compact URS, then this URS is contained in a compact normal subgroup. So why do I mean by contained is like, so the URS is, is a subset of sub G. So these are many subgroups. If I union all of them, so like all these elements, they, they all, actually belong to some compact subgroup of, of G, compact normal subgroup actually. Um, so in particular, you know, if, if you have no compact normal subgroup, then obviously you don't have compact uh, URS. So like in this sense, compact URS do behave uh, a lot like um, compact normal subgroups. That, that's the statement. And okay, and today I, I learned in a Samalix talk that I, I actually, we actually worked with, uh, 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 how did you call it? Point point processes. Yeah. So I didn't know we, I was interested in point processes, but actually, what? <laughs> so uh, like the remark is that we were actually working in a wider setting. So instead of like considering the like minimal subsets of uh, so minimal uh, systems of of G acting on sub G, which is where URS is already defined, we were actually working in the action of G on closed subsets of G, not just subgroups. Um, and okay, and we somehow okay, so we we were like formulating this theorem under like uh, so in most cases we we were able to show that this theorem holds also when we are dealing not with URS but like with the analog of like we called it like not uniformly run, recurrent subgroup but uniformly recurrent subsets so like the the thingy which lives here, and then then we were like asking Todor Tankov if he has a counterexample for like to show that this theorem is not in full generality true. Uh, and, and then he was like, after a few days, he came back with, with a proof. So which also like, uh, I mean, with a proof, which I mean, generalizes this in the sense of be, be, instead of URS, it is a URL subset, but it's slightly, I mean, he assumes that the group is locally compact, sigma compact anyways, but I mean, uh, uh, somehow like, a, um, a, a, um, proved all, almost the same using using a different different approach. Um, so uh, okay, so this is about compact URS, compact IRS. So and and uh, so oh, you don't see that, but I only made seven slides so that it will so I will finish on time, which is kind of now. So we, that this is slide number six. So we have one more to go. And, and then the last one is about this compact IRS thing, uh, which is a work in progress together with Pierre Emmanuel Capras and, and Walter Lederle. So this is like, we want to answer this question, whether every 
compact ILS is contained in a compact normal subgroup. But then Sal told me like, yeah, but it's still in progress. Like someone can, I don't know, solve it, like steal our project. So, so be kind. Don't, <laughs> don't, I, I trust you. Don't steal our project. It's still in progress. It's like we, okay. So, but, so we, we are uh, learning this, uh, learning this uh, question, whether like all compact ILS are contained in compact normal subgroups or like, or at least a compact ergodic IRS. So what we can say for now is maybe I should not call it theorem, but observation, because it's very like partial kind of. So we can show it for certain cases. I didn't list all of them here, but for Lie groups, for countable groups, for some cases of TDLC groups, I mean, depends on like the, the, the way their uh, Kelly Abel's graph uh, looks like. And we also have counter example. I mean, we also have a construction of a totally disconnected locally compact, not compactly generated group G in which this doesn't hold. So like in which we have a compact URS, which does not live inside a compact IRS. normal subgroup, a compact IRS, thank you. Uh, that does not live inside a comp. Oh, so I also wrote it here wrongly, right? So, sorry. So this should be right. Otherwise it will contradict the other theorem. So this is I um, and, and said that, that of oh, and such that its support is like the so I, yeah this should be like the support of this IRS is is the entire G so but we still suspect what what we think is a kind of what we hope to achieve is that uh, we want to show that uh, every in in a um, every compact ergodic IRS in a locally compact say compactly generated group is contained in a compact normal subgroup that's somehow what we hope to. Uh, achieve so like if we want to do this table from before so for compact URS we actually we are actually able to prove it for compact um IRS yeah ah, and Cohen is Tal Cohen I don't know if I said that uh, so and um so for compact IRS it's kind of like we're not sure what's the right setting to make it a yes but that's like what we work on okay I'm done <laughs> Very much for this talk. Uh, any questions or comments? Okay, if this is not the case, uh, thank you again.